At this point in our lecture series, we understand how our immune system provides protection against pathogens, diseases and infections. Our immune system is able to recognize and distinguish between self and non-self antigens. By using a wide variety of defense mechanisms, the immune system eliminates potentially harmful antigens from the body. But sometimes, the defense mechanisms of our body can cause damage, instead of, providing protection. This happens in two situations. First, when the immune system overreacts to certain foreign antigens. Second, when mechanisms of self-tolerance fail. Now look at the term hypersensitivity. Hyper is derived from Greek term hypa, which means, over, beyond or above. And, sensitivity means, the ability to detect and respond to slight changes or signals. Hypersensitivity is defined as, any immune response that is excessively, above normal. It is an inappropriate immune response, that results in host damage. All hypersensitivity reactions are the consequence of adaptive immune responses, that result in tissue damage. These reactions are manifested when, the individual gets second or, subsequent exposure to the antigen. Hypersensitivity reactions can be grouped into four types. This classification is based on, the effector mechanism involved. Or in other words, the components of immune response involved in the hypersensitivity reaction. And, the time of onset. That is, how quickly the reaction develops. In the coming video lectures, we will study each of these hypersensitivity reactions in detail. For now, let's have a short introduction to each of these hypersensitivity reactions. Type 1 Hypersensitivity Type 1 Hypersensitivity Reactions are IgE-mediated reactions. In this case, antigen-specific IgE antibodies bound themselves to cells such as mast cells and basophils. When these antibodies interact with the antigen, degranulation of cells occurs. This degranulation releases inflammatory mediators which further result in symptoms of the reaction. Type 1 hypersensitivity is also known as, immediate hypersensitivity since, it occurs immediately upon exposure to the antigen. It takes only 2 to 30 minutes to develop. Examples of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions include, allergies to food, pollen, insect stings etc. Type 2 hypersensitivity. Type 2 hypersensitivity reactions result when IgG or IgM antibodies recognize and react with antigens present on cells or tissues. This further results in activation of complement in phagocytosis. The cellular destruction takes place that ultimately result in inflamed and damaged tissue. Examples of such reactions include, blood transfusion reactions, hemolytic disease of newborn and, drug-induced hypersensitivity. Type 2 hypersensitivity reactions are also known as, antibody-mediated cytotoxic hypersensitivity. The term cytotoxic tells that these reactions result in destruction of host cells. Type 2 hypersensitivity reactions take 5 to 8 hours to develop. Type 3 hypersensitivity Type 3 hypersensitivity reactions are caused by immune complexes or antigen antibody complexes. These insoluble immune complexes are formed by antigen and specific IgG antibodies. In the normal situations, small and soluble immune complexes are phagocytosed by dendritic cells and macrophages. But insoluble immune complexes deposit at various sites in the body. For example, in the walls of blood vessels. 
their accumulation result in the activation of complement proteins. The resulting inflammatory response damages the tissue. Arthritis and glomerulonephritis are the consequences of type 3 hypersensitivity reactions. Type 3 hypersensitivity reactions are also known as immune complex mediated hypersensitivity. It takes 2 to 8 hours to develop. Type 4 hypersensitivity. Type 4 hypersensitivity reactions are mediated by antigen specific effector T e cells. This is the only class of hypersensitivity reactions which are triggered by T cells and therefore, also known as cell mediated hypersensitivity. Examples of such hypersensitive reactions include nickel allergy and allergic reaction to poison ivy. Type 4 reactions are also called delayed type hypersensitivity because they become apparent 1 to 3 days after exposure to the antigen. So, this was a short introduction to the hypersensitivity reactions. In the next video lecture we will study in detail, type 1 hypersensitivity and its underlying mechanisms. If these video lectures are helpful to you, please like, share and comment. Also, do subscribe if you are new to this channel. Thank you for watching.